A special thanks to Kia Adam Marley for allowing me to film their cars. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth overview of the all-new 2023 Kia Cowens 1.5, showing the exterior, engine and interior. Here's the key fob. When you lock the car, the side mirrors fold in. When you lock the car, the side mirrors fold out. Remote engine start feature. Let's turn it off because we're inside the building. Exterior pillar is a wall of black pearl. Silver trim on these lower side mouldings. This has keyless entry feature. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press this button here. To unlock the car, it's the same process. Black leather seats with perforations on the side along with white, di white piping. Three spoke lower wrap multifunctional steering wheel. For transmission, the Cowens 1.4 Turbo comes with a DCT, while this one, the Cowens 1.5, comes with an IVT. The IVT is short for Intelligent Variable Transmission. Manual shifting with sport mode. And place the car in reverse. There is a reversing camera. Settings. This has front and rear parking sensors. Drive mode selection. Mechanical handbrake. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the headlights. Put on the headlights as well as the front and rear fog lights. The drive side window is automatic. For the wheels, this has 16 inch dual tone 5 twin spec alloy wings wrapped in Wanderer EK Tread MRF 20565R16 tyres. Aluminium roof wells on top. This has LED headlights. The Kia Cowens is Kia's second entry into the MPV market in 1999 as a compact MPV or low MPV after the carnival and has seen four generations. After a three year hiatus, Kia unveiled the fourth generation Cowens in December 2021 in India, with sales started there last March. Kia marketed the Cowens KY as a recreational vehicle, comes in six and seven seater configurations, and it is made for poorer countries across Asia. The Cowens KY is based on the long version of the Hyundai Kia K2 platform, underpins the Hyundai Stargazer and Kia Seltos. The Kia Cowens KY debuted in Indonesia last August as a soft premier trim, available in 7-seater and 6-seater configurations, both with the same features, with pricing starts at 409 million Indonesian rupees at Kia Indo Adam Malik. For the design, the latest Kia Cowens may not look joyful and feels closed in.
For the front, it has a black plastic grille which extends throughout the LED headlights, the chrome pieces top and bottom, and the new Kia logo. For the side, the side does not look bad and it has large side windows for increased passenger comfort. Also, no separation in rear door window. Around the rear, I do like the continuous one piece rear light shape extends throughout the boot. There is chrome trim down below and extra lower reflector lights. However, I don't think the rear light shape is the most attractive here. The Masa Lalu Kia Indonesia Tela Buatan Dewa Pajoba and the Class Low MPV Kaduniya Tabahasel Kawan's Turbo will be brought to the Miskin and the Turun Khan the Lamtawasa than feature the Banding Khan Kawan's Lama than add a hand pierce to what is SP car the Tampak the Gias. It is Kawan's Sabua Low MPV Opsi dan kan status kemewaan dan cukup luas untuk membawa keluarga walaupun eksterior mungkin tidak rasa awat muda dan juga mahal karena kawan yang impor dari India dibandingkan Hyundai Stargazer For engines, the new Cowans in Indonesia comes with petrol power in both natural and turbo forms. The NA engine is coupled with Kia's intelligent variable transmission, whereas the turbo engine is coupled with a dual clutch auto. Under the bonnet, is a Hyundai Kia Smart Screen Gamma 2 1.5 letter inline 4 16 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine with dual variable valve timing and multi point fuel injection. This engine produces 115 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 144 newton meters of torque at 4500 rpm. This has a 45 letter fuel tank and the Cowans is a front wheel drive car. <sighs> the front doors have half plastic materials at the top. On bottom, in the middle, there is leather material, beige leather materials. For electric window controls, the driver's side is automatic in both directions, up and down, window lock, central locking, mirror control. This has power affordable side door mirrors. A medium sized door pocket with cup holders. To the right of the steering wheel column is the engine start start button, the button for the auto start and start system, the button to deactivate the traction control, fuse box down below, automatic transmission door pedals along with bonnet release, fuel flap release. The driver's seat has manual adjustments for climb, seat height and the bar for sliding. The steering wheel has manual tilt and telescopic adjustment, adjust it using this lever right there. On the steering wheel, on the right spoke is the cruise control along with these three controls called Trotter MID. The left spoke is the audio controls, volume, seat track, loop Bluetooth etc. Call, star button voice control, various media sources. The right door is the light indicator and fog lamp control, this has automatic headlights. The left door is the wiper controls, it's a minimum wipers. This has a 4.2 inch MRD display along with a monochrome digital speedometer and a web counter. The MRD is controlled by these three buttons. Car menu. Settings. Driving assistance.
cluster cluster theme lights doors convenience units tire pressure monitoring system back to the driving information system this has single zone automatic climate control temperature on the right fan speed on the left ac front tunnel with defrost different zones it's haptic feedback with circulation off button and automatic right above is the hazard light switch for infotainment, I think this has this 8 inch touchscreen. This contains Res Media options, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and sound is provided by a Bose sound system with 8 speakers. Before I show the infotainment, on the left is the tuning knob, setup, star, seat track, media, radio, and the volume and power button. These six buttons are touch haptic feedback. The sound system sounds brilliant. This is the USB audio menu, album artwork if present, song information, backwards or forward song play pause, shuffle and repeat. List of files in the USB fold menu you can turn off the display media sources this has FM, AM, Bluetooth, USB Android Auto, Apple CarPlay sound settings Here's the Easter egg here. Here's the home page which you can customize right here. Bluetooth telephone. Phone projection. Voice memo. You can wait and voice memo here. I'm making a video of the Kia Cowans. I'm making a video of the Kia Cowan. Radio, media, quiet mode. User manual. Setup. It has onboard Wi-Fi, climate, I think that's it for the infotainment system, the, infotain the touchscreen is quite responsive and I do like the graphics. Down below, ventilator front seat free stage for the driver and front passenger. Parking sensors, the downhill assist control, drive mode selection like I showed you before, a bit of storage, the wireless charging slot, two USB inputs, two types of USB inputs, 12 volt power outlet. Behind the transmission are two cup holders which can be cooled by the AC vents. Front armrest which is made out of leather. There's a removable tray here. Manual dimming rear view mirror 
some glass holder storage front reading lights these are the controls for the sunroof Here's a manual shade Grip handle only for the front passenger side Drive side sun visor, there's no vanity mirror here but there's a card holder The Kia Karen's interior is well made and feels simple These seats are plush plus the cooling feature On the dashboard there is a black panel along with hard plastic materials The rear doors are exactly the same materials as the front doors. Manual shun shades. A medium door pocket. The rear seats, the second row rear seats do fold down. They do recline and also slide. Now let's check out the second row rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a generous amount of leg room and a huge amount of head room. I believe tall people's six footers would be fine back in terms of second row rear seat space. There are picnic tables along with storage night behind the plastic. Dial for the rear aircon. Two USB ports for charging along with a huge bit of storage. Black transmission floor. There is a rear centre armrest but it's hidden behind the plastic. Flip handles for the rear with hooks on it, ceiling mounted aircon vents, LED rear reading light, to gain access into the third row rear seats, all this lever work here. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a bit of leg room and a small amount of leg head room. I believe tall people or six footers would be fine back here, only for short periods of time. These third row rear seats are suitable for young children or smaller individuals. Bit of storage with cup holders along with a USB port for charging on each side. Ceiling mounted air vents along with an LED rear reading light for the third row. Now, let's take a look at the boot. Boot space with all four rows of seats in place is of a good size. It's quite big. Down below the boot floor is some storage areas. If you need extra space, the third row of seats can fall down. Like that. The 
front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side, except the seat height. I think this comes with six airbags. Hidden cup holder storage, which can be cooled. Down below is a good size glove box. This has ambient lighting. 